Hello, my name is Bryn Gillette. I am a uh, artistic ambassador of the kingdom of God and an adopted son of the Most High. I am the loving husband of my wife, Kirsten, for almost 20 years, uh, the father of Kai, Kea, Skyler, and Lily. And I had the privilege of being a visual scribe for the prayer gathering uh, with for Charlotte and Carol, our speaker and kind of prayer leader in, uh, at First Baptist Church in Charlotte two weekends ago. And what's behind me, this painting, was uh, a kind of a, a capturing of so many of the, the words, the prayers, uh, the worship, the teaching that came from that section. And so um, my prayer, my hope is that this would become a foundational uh, layer underneath what will uh, hang in the Stratford Richardson YMCA in either their prayer room or somewhere else. I've been um, lovingly creating in collaboration with the YMCA an image for each one of their locations. And so the heartbeat was to use this beautiful ecumenical gathering of so many prayer groups for our city and even this movement of an idea that uh, there has been a history, hundreds of years of history of intercession for the mission of our city. What is God's, uh, the god size assignment for the city of Charlotte? What is our identity if we were to personify her? Um, what is our broken history that we also need to be repenting of and seeing restoration and reconciliation for? And uniquely, I think that's the story for the YMCA of the Stratford Richardson with with those two gentlemen, the namesake, being such pioneers and pillars of our community, especially with racial justice, uh, being African-American uh, and the history here. And so some of that narrative is all kind of embroiled here in this artwork. Um, and so just to walk us through the imagery behind me, I know I'm standing in front of it, so you can't see it all at once. Let me step away just for a moment. I'm sure I'll have still images as well, but, um, it began with uh, a swipe of color right through here with the red and with the yellow and the blue. And then there's actually uh, was followed not long after from a word in opening by Casey Crimmins uh, for Charlotte of these gears. And this idea, he had had this word of like almost misaligned gears suddenly snapping into alignment. Uh, and that was intended to be this unity of all of these different prayer groups coming together. And in fact, Casey and I and other uh, kind of coordinators of the, the prayer event had been meditating on the fact that there have been hundreds of years of movements of prayer uh, and prophecy and intercession praying into existence um, so much of what we've seen for God's goodness here in the city. And so these there's this just kind of process of all of these people on their knees, one after the other after the other. And so I don't know if it's what it means, so to speak, but as the artist stewarding uh, the ingredients of the day in my heart, that's as I painted it in, I was declaring uh, this incredible history that we have. I think Casey said it like, we're not creating a prayer movement, we're stepping into a stream that's been going on. Uh, and I think all of us have the humility here in the city of we're not, we didn't create Charlotte. We are inheriting an amazing legacy and being able to play our part wherever we are in this storyline. And so, um, let's see, like that came in very, very early on. Um, this kind of like this knight in armor and this idea of really using prayer uh, as, uh, and using God's word, the sword of God's word, as a weapon and going into battle in prayer, not just being passive or reactive, but proactive to claim God's word. And we really did that in our prayer time multiple times. So even this image here of kind of this flame, almost building a prayer altar here. And that was early on in the city, uh, or rather in the, in the painting for the city. Uh, a word that Carol mentioned several times was that the fruit, the new wine is in the clusters, in the clusters of grapes as we gather together. So under this um, gathering of gears that really represented unity at first, also this unifying kind of image of God's goodness, the new wine is in the clusters. Uh, I think that was pretty much our first night of painting. 
Um, and actually, I think the city came in here and specifically, uh, one, my first visit to the Stratford Richardson YMCA on West Boulevard as I came back into the city, there's this moment where the new Capital One building aligns with the Duke and almost like, uh, like an hourglass, they like came into alignment. And I remember feeling this like tingle down my spine of like, that means something. Or just even seeing this idea of things being rightly aligned in the city and this beautiful symmetry, this kind of like rightness, like, ooh, everything is as it is supposed to be, uh, visually, harmoniously. It was just a beautiful moment. So I put that in there kind of as a declaration of things being aligned in our city. Um, the following night, Carol had shared about drilling a well in Africa and how uh, it was a shallow well at first and hit water uh, and then hit rock. And so it was only going to go so deep. And this idea that it would probably in different seasons run dry. And she said, no, that's not good enough. Change the bit. Um, and it's a much more expensive bit. It's a diamond laden bit. Um, but it was able to drill through the rock and in that location where they were digging for water, they hit an underwater river aquifer and had water just spraying up to the fact where like city officials, like the city was called in just to see this miraculous find of water. And I loved that metaphor of digging, redigging the wells of prayer, even in the legacy of our, um, like the wells that were redug for Jacob, redigging the legacies of prayer, even in our city, for sometimes where it, it's very heightened and then others where it kind of uh, lulls to redig those things. And so I actually brought that right below where everything is in right alignment, almost like, and drilling down and not relenting, but changing a bit and digging deeper until we hit God's purposes in our city. And that was kind of a prophetic declaration. That same night, there was a lot of words just uh, really interceding, not just for racial justice, but for um, the Ukraine. The war in Ukraine unfolded the very night we started our intercession. In fact, there was a word about how the uh, yellow and then blue that was below it is the upside down flag of Ukraine, which is a symbol of um, distress. And I hadn't even thought of that. I didn't even know what the Ukrainian flag was. So as someone stood up and kind of declared that over the painting that first night, we were, I was a little dumbstruck. And I love when God does something despite me, or rather through me and not from me, because I wasn't even aware of the flag, which was, it was amazing. Um, so this unborn child, and that our city is actually a destination of abortion, that people come uh, to this area to have that done. Uh, was so grieving, and uh, this image above of a, of a hand class holding arrows from Psalm 127, that um, children are a gift from the Lord, and like arrows in the quiver of a soldier, right, that the one who has many won't be distur- discouraged at the gate, but would stand in honor, and just this idea that fathers especially would rise up in defense of their partners, in defense of their families, in defense of unborn children, uh, not that mothers don't also clearly have a role, but just this prayer that families would be unified, especially the men, would stand by the women that uh, are pregnant and would be family and would be protection for them. Uh, so that was definitely on my heart that day. Um, these lines that kind of went everywhere, they're not random. It actually is. This is the road map of Charlotte right above. So here you can see the city center and the diamond. And these roads like this is the beltway around and so the west side, like right about where the, uh, like the Stratford Richardson is, like right here. Uh, and I'd really been thinking about the map of our city and disparity of racial, racial injustice. In fact, this red line was the red line, redlining, uh, the division between wealth and then poverty, the, the division between um, the uptown and areas that are, are much less um, valuable and have been systemically in poverty and uh, lack of quality education, lack of access to food uh, in the food deserts. And I know that part of the initiative here in the West Side and Stratford Richardson and the heart with that YMCA is to see uh, a grocery store come in and a clinic come in and really just equity um, for, uh, for the disenfranchised. And so there's also this image that had come, it's a reference to things that came out of Movement Day 2019, but almost this Monopoly man and antebellum female partner 
uh, wife of privilege, kind of of the uptown city scale, and then down below, literally slaves being sold on the blocks here in, uh, here in Charlotte. Uh, and so this idea of social inequity um, in that division. And even here, this idea of getting in our face and two separate, I think this might actually become the Monopoly Man with that hat and cane and maybe the antebellum woman and, and slave, like literally coming together the two uh, disparate groups now getting on their face and reconciling. So if there is a verse for this piece, I think it will be the Ephesians 2, where these groups that have been divided have now been made one, and the hostility was put to death at the cross, uh, that there is full redemption and reconciliation into one body uh, in Christ. Um, I think that would be the, the kind of the prayer over the Stratford Richardson and our key verses. Uh, the wasp and this idea that we were known as the hornet's nest to General Cornwallis when, during the revolution when they came here. This was the hornet's nest of rebellion and maybe in a bad way, but could also be in a great way. If we will not settle for injustice or oppression of abortion or, you know, other th like uh, the man, there's just so many different layers to what this could mean. I realize these are not unifying, these are not unifying topics to put in a public YMCA. So in some ways, some of these layers will be the underpainting and may be overlaid with, uh, I can imagine the Stratford Richardson image would be here in the future, as well as the two key figures uh, and other like the grocery store to be, the clinic to be, uh, images of families being unified, being reconciled, being cared for, uh, racial division being um, met and, and salved, um, if that's a word, I'm not sure. But we're seeing kind of the disintegration of this privilege into the wasp nest or into the hornet's nest. And in fact, there is the nest. And this is our basketball team, the hornets, like the emblem there as this queen bee hornet. So Man, lots of imagery. This is just what came out of the prayer time. Each one of these things was either referenced or prayed over or kind of inspired directly in that prayer time. So this is as much a visual scribe of that prayer gathering as hopefully it will be the, again, base layer of um, an image that will stand as a declaration of who we are to become as our city, who the Lord is calling uh, Charlotte to be. And the hope will be this will be one the third of many that will kind of go all around the city and become the bigger narrative of what wholeness looks like here in this region, what the, the church with a capital C, the bride of Christ is looking to see and do and become that Charlotte could be fully realized in all of her glory um, for what God has called her to become.